Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. This is question of the day 50. I hope almost everyone is solving these questions daily. Let us start solving today's question which is based upon time speed distance. The question is during a heist, the professor and Raquel start from cities Tokyo and Berlin respectively to reach the other city. Travelling 720 kilometers, professor rests when Raquel is moving and vice versa. It is given that the speeds of the professor and Raquel are 80 and 90 kmph respectively. If Raquel starts first, reaching Tokyo in 15 hours, find the least time that the professor would take to reach Berlin after Raquel had started. So the situation is very clear. We have two places over here. One of them is Tokyo. One is Berlin. Professor is starting from Tokyo and Raquel is starting from Berlin. They are moving in opposite directions. The distance between Tokyo and Berlin it is given as 720 kilometers. The speed of professor is given as 80 and the speed of Raquel is given as 90 kmph. We have been clearly given that Raquel starts first and we have also been given that when the professor is traveling then Raquel would rest. When Raquel is traveling the professor would rest. We have been given that Raquel starts first and reaches Tokyo in 15 hours. So now we know that the distance is 720 kilometers and Raquel is taking 15 hours. We know that the speed of Raquel is 90 kmph. If she is traveling at 90 kmph, she must have traveled this distance of 720 kilometers in 8 hours. So if Raquel is only traveling moving for 8 hours, then out of these 15 hours, she would be moving for 8 hours, 7 hours, she must be resting. I hope this is clear. So we know that Raquel is resting for 7 hours. So for that time the professor must be moving. The speed of professor is 80 kmph. So how much will the professor move in 7 hours at 80 km per hour? 80 into 7 that means 560 km will be covered by the professor when Raquel is resting. Now the professor has to reach Berlin. So how much distance is left? 720 is the total distance. 560 is covered. So 160 km remains. So the professor has to cover 160 km more. So how much time will the professor take? He is running at 80. So we'll divide this by 80. So 2 hours. So the professor will take 2 hours more. So Raquel reaches Tokyo in 15 hours. And after the 15 hours are finished, the professor will take 2 hours more to reach Berlin. So 15 plus 2 that means 17 hours will be the minimum time taken by the professor to reach Berlin. So that's it. This was an easy question. You could have solved this orally. If you still have a doubt, please ask again. Thank you and keep following the iQuanta question of the day series.